ready up. Yes. It was a great opportunity to participate in the ISEE conference. Um, and I sincerely uh, congratulate Professor Wolfram for organizing this, such an amazing conference. I also value sincerely and truly his uh, excellent commitment to make sure that Africa becomes not only politically but also technologically and economically and socially and environmentally independent. I think that is an amazing uh, work that he's doing and I hope um, a new relationship could be built between Europe and Africa where the principle of mutual benefit overrides any uh, 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 you know any pr private interest like or, or self-interest I think we should really go for that to save not only uh, Africa <coughs> but the world so my topic the keynote I gave was on transformative innovation and sustainable development system building for Africa in this time of the fourth industrial revolution there is a need for us to find a way to make sure that Africa does not lose the fourth industrial revolution as it lost the first industrial revolution, the second industrial revolution, and the third industrial revolution. This is a time to make sure that the technology we are in on now is so borderless that Africa can access it and Africa can enter into the knowledge economy like any other continent in this planet. And that's what we wanted to do. So I am suggesting that a new conceptual framework is much needed in this time of the fourth industrial revolution to find ways to apply all the new technologies such as blockchain, artificial intelligence, robotics, internet of things, soft computing, machine intelligence, 3D printing, explosive and disruptive technology. This is a time to do it. This is a time where the technology has become borderless and humans are acquiring machine characteristics and machines are also acquiring human characteristics. Digital and electronic technology can be applied everywhere to add value to agriculture, raw material, minerals, construction, infrastructure, and all types of materials and resources in this time of the fourth industrial revolution. How can Africa now jump into the fourth industrial revolution to prevent the losses of not developing it it has been subject to it to in the earlier time. I suggest that we need a new transformative and sustainable innovation and development system. I call it TSIDS, a North National Innovation System, as the only framework that's much needed to avoid failure in the fourth and in the coming five, fifth industrial revolution, to attain a well-being and knowledge anchored essential foundation for the long-term social economic sustainable development of the entire African continent and even the globe. I really uh, like us to spark this idea further and I hope there will be more opportunities in ISAE subsequent conferences to develop this even more. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you giving the opportunity to express this voice. Thank you. Thank you.